Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Mac Brave Work. And I am here again with Rich Harrington. Howdy. Hey, Rich. And uh, we're talking about numbers. We're talking about the calculations, budgets, exciting things. Well, budgets lead to money, and money leads to exciting things. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Well, you know, and the thing is, is that it is so important when you're figuring this out. Whether it's a client that wants to know the numbers or not, it's important that you know the numbers. Yeah. And the issue is, is you don't really know what the numbers are until you throw it into a spreadsheet. Yeah, and so you know, we try to do line item budgets internally for every project. A lot of people mm -hmm. do uh, bonsop type budgeting, bag mm -hmm. of napkin, seat of pants. Right. And that doesn't go very far. Like it, they're like, yeah. I wonder. Hmm, it's like a it's like a betting game. Like maybe if I say ten thousand, they'll say okay. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. And 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 uh, then we end up with a lot of disappointed people. Either us or them. Yeah. Uh, are disappointed with the result. And so. So you do that line item budget, so you know how much it's going to cost for the project. And along right. the way, you might have to offer some discounts, but you want right. to know what the project should cost. Right. So, so we've done that here. We've got a, a start of a budget here, a production budget, but it could be for anybody's budget. Mm -hmm. We just put in a few categories. We have a quantity and a rate. And one of the things I wanted to do was have a discount column because clients always ask for discounts. Right. So what we could do is we could select that, and under the format inspector, we said, well, it goes from zero to one in increments of 0.01. So if you format that as percentage, it's basically saying from zero to 100%. Right. We'd never give a 100% discount, but you have it in case you had to. Well, actually, maybe you had to throw one thing in for free, like, oh, I'm not going to charge you for the DVD. Right. So now we've got all that, and we want to set up a, a basic formula. So, you know, we've already applied that formatting. We'll say, reuse that on all these other cells. We drag that down, mm -hmm. and the formatting repeats. Right. And so the total here is pretty simple. We say, well, it's going to be equal to. And I'm going to use a parenthesis because I want to do two separate calculations right. together. And this is something that a lot of people who get started in numbers don't know about. But like any of the old algebra, yeah. and we're, we're applying algebra now, so we're having two separate things going on at the same time. So in the first parenthesis, we're going to say, take the quantity and multiply that by the rate. And that's going to give you that first number. Right. And then we say, multiply that by the discount amount. But if the discount amount was 10%, we wouldn't want to multiply by 10%. That would give them a, a, something a little bit more than we wanted to give them. A 90% discount. Right, right, yeah. right, exactly. So it's really one minus the discount amount mm -hmm. in that parentheses. So, you know, pretty simple. And we could say, OK, they want five hours of this first thing. Right. Five times 200 with zero discount is $1,000. But if we gave them a 10% discount, you would see that that would go down. Right. To 900. And the thing is, is that it'd be tempting to try to just, you, know, you can do that by hand, but by having the computer do it, it's going to be more accurate and obviously a lot faster. And I find a lot of times with discounts, you get your initial number and then you either have a reality target or some, mm -hmm. the client shares with you, well, we're trying to do the project for about this price. Right. And you go back and you look at your budget and say, well, where could I discount or where can I trim? Right. But now we want to reuse that. So we'll just drag right down and it reuses that formula. Right. And now, I always recommend, before you save your master template, just down arrow through and make sure that every formula and, is right. And the way you know that is because of these colors. Because it's saying yeah. this, this one, the, the one that you're looking at is dependent on these other, on these other ones. Yeah, like if the colors were up here, that'd be a problem. Sometimes right. I've seen people like start to add a cell or copy and paste, and it right. gets confusing. Mm -hmm. If you do need to add a cell, you could just click in here and say add row above or below. Or mm -hmm. the shortcut for that is option left or right arrow. Up or right. down arrow, I should say. And then you could add another category. Mm -hmm. We'll just undo that. Um, so now we got that, and you know, we're just going to plug some numbers in for now. You know, pretend we knew what we were doing. You know, six we would never this. do this. We would never do this in, in the real world. No, it would be all be real math. Calculating, yes. And so we're at $5,890, but we know the client has only got you know, $5,800 maybe to spend, or, right. or, or 5000 to spend. Say 5000 yeah. So we'll go ahead and we'll start to drive these numbers down. You know, so as we start, to, we see there, oh, OK, you know, if I start to apply a 10% discount across the board, you know, how far am I going to have to go before we hit our magic number that the client wants to hit? You know, and the good news is, is you know, you could actually just type that number in. You don't have mm -hmm. to use the slider. You know, and I say, okay, I'm going through here, and you know, is 10% going to get me there? And it's not. So then right. I have to decide, well, am I comfortable giving more than that? But either way, you got the total number, and you know, now you want to present and, to your client. And even if you're, and, and the main thing is, is that with that discount, you want to, uh, 
by doing it, this may seem manual, like you could just change the numbers. Yeah. But this really gives you a, in your head when you're trying to figure out what your margins are. And, and let's say you're targeting 35% margins or 50% margins or 40% yeah. margins. You know that you just cut a big chunk of that out of there and you're doing that consciously rather right. than just kind of not knowing what you're getting, what you're not. Yeah, because if you know going in that you had to sh give a 15% discount, along the way when the client sort of bends the rules or asks for something that is in the budget, you're gonna go, well, I don't have that much margin. I gotta be a little more rigid here. Right. I, was, I was flexible at the beginning, right. now I have to be rigid. Right. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose money on the job. Exactly. So you got this and you wanna give it to the client. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't like to give the client all the rates. Right. I don't publish my rate sheet. Mm -hmm. I say, tell me what you want, I'll tell you what it costs. Right. So what I usually do is I'll just duplicate that and select everything. And when you do that, you could say, okay, select all, copy, and then you just choose paste values, which keeps all the formatting. Right. But it gets it gets rid of all the formulas. So, so it's disconnected everything. Yeah, like you see here, there's no formula. It's just the actual number. Mm -hmm. So we could say, well, that's great. You know, let's hide the discount amount. I'll just hide that column, and let's go ahead and hide the, you know, or we could even delete the column there if we need right. to. And I'll just clear these numbers out. You know, and I still have the total. Right. And it's like a purchase order. They're getting five of this, ten of this. Yep. You know, and over here you can keep note of your actuals, but the same thing. If you've got a column you don't want, you just hide that. Which is a great feature, by the way. I didn't know that existed before we were talking about it. So yeah, it's a, just a nice way to clean up. Absolutely. And so then I could print that out as a PDF, send it to the client. Right. And I still have this other version. And when we call up and we have to talk it through, mm -hmm. then I'm able to say, well, we did this and we did this for you. And here's how we reached that. Right. But you don't have to sort of tip your hat. Yep. Very good. Yeah. Thanks, Rich. Sure. Where can people find more of this from you? We got lots of stuff. Uh, we did the official Apple training series book on iWork, mm -hmm. and uh, just do a search on Red Pixel on the web. There's a lot of other tutorials. Fantastic, and thank you for watching Mac Break Work.